guy used to joke around, you know, would you suck it for a million dollars, right? And you're like, nah, man. But you start thinking about it. It's a lot of money for a few <laughs> minutes worth of work, right? <laughs> so what y'all think about this? You going to jail for five years unless you suck it. What you doing? Damn. Hey, that's a good one. Hey, fuck it. Hey, look. <laughs> John. What's up, y'all? This is the Grind and Prosper podcast, Elevated Edition. I don't know what episode I done lost the count. Well, this is Joey right here. So we got OT. What's up, OT? What's up? Baby? So the special guest, say Brent Maples. Mr. Brent what's Maples. What's up, guys? What's up? They said comedian. Yeah. Mr. Local Comedian, yeah. Brent yeah. Maples. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said he's ready for anything and down for whatever. He said, my type of guy. <laughs> you, say lo- you, say, you say local, but man, there ain't. There is, there's no comedy scene local. Really. Yeah, yeah, there's not much going on, dude. There's, there's really not. none. It, it, it's sad. That's well, why we, we spoke of this a couple weeks ago. What yeah. needs to happen for it to happen here? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it depends on what you want. I mean, do you want like an open mic? A couple, you know what I mean? There I, is. There's one open mic, and there's one show a month, guaranteed, and that's deep end, right? But. Yeah. Uh, they need some professional guys. There's too. not some much guys, else. Some guys know? that are doing it all the time that are good at it too. But there's there's some good shows up there. You can have fun going to the deep end and doing it, dude. That's where I started at, dude. They put yeah. me on. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah. that there used to be a, a guy, a buddy of mine, used to put on some shows, and people would show up for a little while. And uh, I think they had a show at, like the the big blue building downtown. And <clears throat> I guess he finally it, it started dying off, right? And you know how it goes with Wichita. People just. They'll support it for a little while, but he was trying to do it every month. I think if you did it every couple months, you could mm-hmm. probably do something. So if I could find like a good venue, uh, man, we ought to just do I'd it. I'd bring here. in some people from out of town. Yeah, uh, that'd be that'd be dope. Hey, I'm gonna just make them just, stand outside, <laughs> and all them drug rehab classes are gonna be going on, and they're gonna be saying all kinds of fucked up stuff. I said, don't worry, guys. So just, just mind yeah, your business. We'll get them worked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, it's just start shouting. I feel at like them. it just got. They got to be consistent. You know what I mean? Like to do that, like month, at least monthly. Like that's that's really nothing. You know, just one event a month. That's twelve. 12 events it's a it's just about yeah getting getting people there though is the thing because uh, it, it depends if you're like renting a venue and you're paying five hundred thousand dollars for this venue uh you need to sell tickets right and, yeah. and, and if you're not it's real quickly you're gonna be like nope not again right yeah, uh, yeah. see they need so, someone that's just dedicated to or, it or, 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 or a, a venue, liquor license or a venue where they can not, sell or a venue that's just not going to charge you a thousand dollars, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, work some a venue that, that you could work with, uh, drinks and door type of split. You know what I mean? Figure yeah. something out. But yeah, uh, any venues out there? Yeah, you can hit me up. Some man. Hit me up. Hit, hit yeah. Yeah. And, where, and actually, where can they where can they reach you at? Where? Uh, what's your pages that they can follow you at? Brent See Maples some? Comedy. You know, Brent Maples Comedy. Yeah. You'll find me. YouTube, TikTok. Yeah. You said yeah. OnlyFans. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he, said, he said a little bit of everything. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Brent Maples comedy. Brent Maples comedy. Look, he said, bro, I want to show this thing in deep end too. He said, no one messes with pop and punk in Wichita Falls. Nobody messes with what? He said, pop punk in Wichita Falls. Oh, I thought he was talking about comedy. In my bad. I thought he meant a comedy show. Oh, I don't know about pop punk. <laughs> <laughs> but I know the deep end does a lot of shit, man. No, they're local shit. Deep yeah, end's yeah, sure. uh, come a long ways, man. That's a. Uh, Jason's done a good job of that place. is fucking nice. Uh, it's fun, dude. Yeah, I see. I don't get by as much as I'd like, but I used to live next door to it. Now I live all the way across town. They do a, a an open mic every Wednesday. I made it to one like last Wednesday, but that's you know. So you got anything coming up? Yeah, I got uh, what is it? Uh, when I get back, so I'm going to New York Saturday, uh, for work, and I got to be there for two weeks. So I haven't been booking much, but when I when I come back uh, the day after I come back, so April. 14th, uh, I got a show in Lawton at Comedy Avenue, the tattoo shop up there. I got a, I'm got hosting a show. And then... Uh, four, You're hosting it? Yeah. And the nice. 420, uh, I'll be at the Forum here in Wichita Falls. 420 oh, shit. Forum. Mm-hmm. What are they doing there? I don't it's know. A show? comedy show, yeah. I got asked to be on a show for, really? by one of my boys from uh, that I that I know from Comedy Avenue, right? Brandon, he... Uh, wow. Nice. He works up there and... Yeah, anyways. So so what, what, what got shows. you in, into comedy? Because I know... I know you started what in 2022? Yeah, I was, I was like but. thirty. I was like thirty-five. Uh, 
Yeah, something like that. I was like 35, and I was going up and watching shows at the deep end, and I've always want, you know, liked comedy, but I also had a, a speech impediment as a kid, right? I, mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, uh, I, and I was poor, so I didn't have a lot to be confident about, right? I was just, you know, kind of a quiet kid unless I knew you. Yeah, but sure. uh, then they fucking put me in a speech class and fucking fixed me. and uh, <laughs> Fixed you. <laughs> then, you know, I got a good job and started you know i wasn't yeah. as poor anymore and i was like wait okay i can talk no but uh i uh started going to the shows watching it's like damn dude uh there's a lot of guys a few guys that were bombing every time you know yeah. and uh i was like fuck i might try that you know i might try that and i can they if they obviously nobody gives a fuck if you're bombing up here right and that's yeah. how it is at open mics and, and shows like that uh, Anywhere. I, uh, I went to one in New York, and it was shit. Uh, and then I went to one, <laughs> and it was badass. It was one of the best I've heard of. There was a white guy outside that was like uh, 70 years old on a bike. The cops had to come get him because he was trying to say the N-word on stage, dude. I watched, <laughs> that, video. I watched I, that video. Dude, I come outside, I and I, I, caught, I was fucking pulling my camera around and started hitting it, dude. And... Uh, yeah, dude, he let it. He was letting it fly freely. He wasn't even worried about it, man. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you, you expect that in Texas, but not in New York. Uh, Damn. Uh, anyways, what were we talking? I don't about? know. There's, there are a lot <laughs> more assholes in New so York, look, though, man. Look, so, what, who, yeah. who's your favorite comedian? Yeah, I was gonna ask, who's your top uh, five? Or say that's your top five. Comedians. Man, I don't know. It's a tough one, dude. But uh, right now, I'm I'm really liking like uh, Shane Gillis, and uh, you know, I always really like. Uh, Dave Chappelle and, and Eddie Murphy and, and you know, shit like that. Louis C.K., I like Louis C.K. Oh, There's yeah, a lot, so. I could, you know what I mean? But uh, So it's hard to say. Yeah. As far as a favorite goes, man, it's all about that time, right? It's like a song, right? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, y'all putting it on me right now. I guess, honestly, I'd probably have to say, like, Dave Chappelle or something, just because that's, they, with the Chappelle show, that's what I grew up on, you know Yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot of us in our generation. Yeah. I think it's the skit, the skit comedy, that shit is, it's just funny. I've never yeah. seen anyone do it like that, like, ever again. And I well, you know, they have, like, generations of it, right? It was them, it was him, and then what, Key and Peele came through. Yeah, they took it. Yeah, they and, stole their show. Uh, I don't know if we're, anyway, I know that uh, <laughs> Shane Gillis started doing his, uh, I don't know if y'all know Shane Gillis, who he is. Yeah, yeah, I know who he is. But he got uh, he made news because he got hired onto Saturday Night Live, and then he got fired like a few hours later because some video they posted, I guess, right? Yeah. But yeah, he started doing his own YouTube of skits like that, and they started blowing up. And like uh, just last week or two weeks ago, he hosted Saturday Night Live. So it was yeah. kind of a cool deal, right? Yeah, yeah. Full but circle. Sounds, for him. sounds a, like church. I said, I said, I can hear the whisper. I had to go. <laughs> deacon, the deacon over yeah. here. That's it for her to go. No, but uh, but yeah. So I started watching uh, and go and writing. I said I was gonna do it for two years. I was fucking putting it off, putting it off. But I was writing at work, you know. And uh, I got up and I did five minutes, and there's like two people paying attention, you know. And but they were like, dude, that was good. You want to come back? I mean, it wasn't good, probably, but yeah. it was. It Good probably enough. had it probably had moments, you know what I mean, yeah. and uh, so I came. I was addicted after that, dude. I was just hitting it, and I freaked out like one of them, like the second or third time. I, you know, and I'm up there at the deep end when it was back at the other building, yeah. uh, and I'm in the Star Wars machine, drunk. I'm like, <laughs> uh, look at my wife. I'm like, you, we should let's just go, let's just leave, you know. I, uh, and I was selling on a new joke I was trying to add in, and it ended up going good, dude. Uh, it was good. I said the N word on stage one time. I was <laughs> <laughs> but it was like soft A, you, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Soft a, and, yeah. and uh uh and it and and it went okay, dude. It God. was cool because uh, you know, it it wasn't like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, hey, sure. you sound like the guy off the boondocks, the fucking teacher. <laughs> <laughs> he, he holds up the sign, he's like, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. What's fun is when we go down to uh so Met some people, whatever, whatever, and uh, started getting some shows, and we get went down. And we hustled up some shows. We got booked at uh, Heinz, and they gave us like one. There's one show. They got a main room, and they got a red room. The red room holds like 70 people. Blue room holds like 200, 300, I don't know, 200 people. And uh, they gave us the red room, 
and we just hustled tickets. Dude, I was talking to homeboys that didn't even go but bought tickets. People just buying, t- you know what I mean? We <laughs> hustled up tickets, dude, and hit the phones. So they gave us the second show. Ended up selling out both those shows. I had never been to a comedy club at that time. And uh, so my first time at a comedy club is downtown Fort Worth, right? on yeah. the Right there on the main street. There's yeah. Peace Piano Bar in the next ring, Sundance Square, whatever it is, you know. it's uh, And you step out side uh, in between shows and there's horse carriages you know yeah. going by it's fucking awesome down there and uh so my first time at the comedy club we sold out back-to-back shows in the red room you know small room but still was like 70 oh, yeah. in there and it was uh it was a lot of fun dude it was fun it was a good time yeah I'm not... do, do you like you like talking shit to people in the crowd ever oh yeah dude oh yeah i think that'd be my style say if i do the comedy side definitely it, see, at first, it was funny is at first I got, you know, you're new and you're so focused on your set and, and trying to deliver the right, and not forgetting your jokes and shit, right? And then eventually you kind of hit a groove and you're just, you know, your jokes or, or, <laughs> yeah. or you're just comfortable enough to where you can bullshit it, right? And some nights, you know, it's hard to be on every night, you know, that's why some of these guys that just go out and do it every night or, or you know, uh, it's hard to be on, dude. I've bo- I've bombed uh, some big some do, so we do the back to back shows at the hyenas right. Well, one time we got booked the main room, so we hustled up, so back to back, at the main room, dude. This two hundred and this is a packed ass show. I go on my first show and I murder, dude. Uh, fucking great set, dude. Yeah. Great set. And then the next we got a green room in the back. We're just hanging out. I'm drinking and. Uh, I go out and I got I stumbled on a joke that I didn't even do on the first set and uh, I was drunk and I fucking I I, I would say I bombed right yeah. but uh, I know that if I watched the video y- y'all'd be like I wasn't that bad probably but I would cringe over it yeah, you, type of thing you know what I mean I don't even I would you're hard you're hard on it. yourself then do you ever go but back and watch anything or you have you oh, have dude, a hard I time. watch my shit all the time <laughs> dude uh, you gotta uh, know what works and what doesn't and uh, I was I was showing the my cousin the uh, Joey over here the the wife one the the different the, personalities the, the wig one dude yeah, no the different personalities y'all go out yeah, yeah y'all wear yeah. wigs wearing wigs yeah, <laughs> yeah that shit was funny as fuck that was inspired yeah that was inspired by uh, a friend of mine yeah but uh, yeah I like that joke it's a fun joke so so have you written any of your your jokes do you write oh, all your jokes I write all my jokes all yeah. your jokes oh yeah. Nice. Do you do freestyle yeah, nights? Yeah, originality. Uh, dude, I, uh, I've done, dude, one night I was supposed to do like 20 minutes and I ended up doing an hour on stage. Yeah. Uh, Damn. Because my homeboy was coming from Lawton and uh, he got arrested in only like right in front of the VFW, <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? And uh, it was a fun, good crowd, dude. And I was just fucking with them and. We just, I was just telling stories, uh, funny ass stories, and dude, we were having a good time. But uh, at one point, I was like, "Why the fuck am I still on stage? I'm gonna get off." But it was like, uh, I've got the video of it. It's like, and I talk shit uh, basically about one of my coworkers who uh, <laughs> uh, is a fun guy, and I like him a lot. But uh, you know, he was dating some chick that fucking ruined his life and uh <laughs> and there was flags all along the way because i work up tower with the he guy said there's flags all he along talking the about way. it the whole time so you know so anyways we got into all that and uh but yeah i like doing shit like that and and anytime you know somebody says something maybe playing off of it because i'm good with the back and forth yeah. right or or i'm Shit's just telling it i'm either telling a joke if the crowd's not into it and talking a lot or saying anything right which i'm good either way honestly i i don't mind uh but if they're not saying much i'm just gonna go through the motions i'm not gonna be like trying to get them to say a whole lot right i'm just gonna yeah. uh, not go through the motions i'm gonna do my set because honestly, that's how you do it in like a theater or anywhere bigger. I mean, you you don't really have heckling at a fucking coliseum. You don't hear it. You know what I mean? You just do your set, right? It's not like I'm doing shows at a coliseum. Yeah, right. I feel like this. I've do. done theaters, and it's it's a lonely <laughs> island up there in a theater, bro. You don't have the comedy club. The comedy clubs are great. You got people that are there to laugh. They're all around you. You can make eye yeah, contact. You can have fun with them. Mm-hmm. That's 
that's where the magic happens. That dude. interaction then, you get from them, yes. Yeah, you gotta be, uh, you know, you gotta be hitting it every night, and then have your, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, sitting there and doing like a auditorium stage type of tour. You gotta have your shit down and been doing it for a while, you know. Shit, I feel like it's worse, like a uh, fucking being at a small comedy club. Because I feel like in an auditorium, you're gonna have the fucking lights all in your face, anyways. You won't even be able to pay attention. Honestly, at the at, at like high end and shit, the, the lights are, I can't see past like the second row sometimes, you know. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm probably, thinking yeah. you probably just fucking just say like, fuck it because you can't even see them anyways. You're like shit, you don't even see their reaction. But I like to see them, dude. <laughs> I want to talk to them, man. Uh, yeah, dude, I, I want to talk to them, see what's up. Yeah, you won't see their faces. Yeah, I want them to participate they, a little bit, right? Let's talk. Let's have fun. What y'all doing? What y'all, where y'all come from? Yeah. That type of thing, you know? That's, that's what I like. I like seeing the ones like uh, Renee Vodka and like Ralph Barbosa, where it's just like, it's like small ones, like just the small stages, and they fucking see all the crowd. And they're just be like, are, you, are y'all here together? He's like, oh, that's your friend? She's like, yeah, just a friend. Like, yeah, uh, well, you sit with her. He's like, are you single? He's like, yeah, if, well, if it's just your friend, you'll understand. Like, yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker don't give Put a fuck. Put them on the spot. Yeah, yeah. like you yeah. be friend zoning them and shit. Because like, <laughs> like, there's another bitch right here that'll fuck them. She's like, if you're his friend, you'll understand. <laughs> Is your best friend? You never f- <laughs> well, How long are you going to keep leaning him on like this? <laughs> you pay this whole bill? Don't pay the whole bill. You're splitting as friends. <laughs> They said it, not me. <laughs> you want him? Yeah, you want him? You got it, huh? Hey, sit next to her. Come sit next to her. Empty chair right here. Hey, and, hey, 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 if she's your best friend, she'll understand. Sit right here. Sit down right there, my boy. I like shit like that, but it's just funny as fuck to me. So what kind of comedy do y'all like? I mean, what do y'all listen Man, to? There's fucking so many. I fucking like everything, like fucking Theo Vaughn, like I said, Renee Vaca, uh Ralph Barboza, Dave Chappelle, fucking... Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Man, yeah. there's all kinds like of comedians. I like Ralph a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think he's cool just because like, he's from Dallas and shit. Yeah, I like, dude. I want to uh, go see him. Yeah, he's actually be his, his style. You know, you, you know they, uh, I guess before I started, uh, I don't remember, because I don't remember seeing it, but... Like they say he went through deep end and came and did a show out, out there. Then right? for real? Damn. His, his style they was bring, just... They've always been bringing people from Dallas in. That's, yeah, how that's, I met, that's how I met some people from out of town that invited me to my first, like, Laden show. And, yeah. and that first Laden show, I fucking murdered. And I, I don't know. You know, sometimes you're just on. And I was just on that night, dude. So, so when... But it was a shitty-ass bar, and there was only, like, 12 people there. But I fucking murdered those 12 <laughs> yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. You know? so, so you said get invited. Is that how you do... You get to do comedy somebody's shows? Got, somebody's got to be putting on a show. Somebody's yeah. putting a show on. That they're going to they want... You. They want, you know, two, three people to come to a show with them, right? And so you either got to sell tickets or be cool in the hang, basically, yeah. right? And uh, I tried to... Uh, sell tickets you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. no nah, but uh, you got to try to sell tickets dude and that's what it comes down to what are whether you're fucking out knocking down doors whatever you do and i uh it's hard dude you, to so you got like it's a hard to keep witness. the pace that yeah. Yeah. he said yeah. knock on doors yeah. <laughs> knock on doors posting on facebook and yeah. instagram and dude, shit I, I used to sell a bunch of tickets up when i first started just from pure hustle right yeah. uh but Eventually, it's just like, dude, uh, you don't push it as hard, and, and people aren't as, you know, like, people I know aren't as excited as it. It's not like I've blown up or anything, right? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, I get put on some good sh- good shows. St- I get put on stages that surprise me sometimes. You know what I mean? It's like uh, Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame and shit. Uh, I bombed that stage, bro. You know what I mean? Because uh, the night before, I was in Chickasha, Oklahoma, dude. It was like a weekend up there. I rode with, with those dudes from my Peacock, right? And yeah. went up there. And I, Chickasha, Oklahoma, we're at a brewery. And uh, dude charges the stage and hits Wayne uh, Morris. Hits him in the fucking mouth, dude. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? And I was watching it because I had already... This, the First off, bars suck. Uh, to do comedy and because they but he's trying to have a conversation nobody's it's not like music right you know what I mean they gotta be it's there not for karaoke. comedy mm-hmm. and listening for they gotta be listening right and uh, paying attention 
I was like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, right? And, uh, yeah. I mean, no, no, so they just need to shut the fucking music off. Right. I say, you said no one likes doing comedy in the bar. I always feel like that's where the people will fucking start crying and shit. Yep. You, like, strike a nerve or something. Like, and that's yeah, where I see yeah, the most comedy. They're like, you're off. fucking racist. That no, mother... You're not shut, the no. No, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! As a white guy trying to talk to black people... I'm no, not. Bitch. No, you're not. What are you upset about? It's not me. No, and shut up. Any black person that tried to laugh at his fucking jokes, no. No, a white person trying to make fun of black people. See, now you're crying, and we, I was just trying to make you laugh. No, don't do that. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you a bitch. <laughs> Why do you think I'm doing this for a living? You think I was a football player? I'm a bitch, goddammit. <laughs> There's nothing you can say to me I haven't said six inches from the mirror. You're the first name going in my suicide note tonight. Have a good night, Kamala Harris. Now's the time I need you on my side. No, no, that was the most racist joke ever. No, no. I, I, I got no. like four more in the chamber. They didn't hear the joke. They only heard a little part of it, yeah. They only heard but, the inward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're like, you're a fucking racist. She's like, that's wrong. He's like, it's soft day. Man, there's some <laughs> fucking comedian. I can't think about that. it, but he always has fucking people. It's like they let him get a lot of alcohol in them, and then they're like, he's just talking shit to them the whole Turn fucking time. Mm. Yeah, bro, he'll pick someone all the way in the back. He don't give a fuck. I, I can't think of his fucking name. I'll find him. I'll show you. There's a, there, uh, there's a few good ones that were that good crowd work, but uh, I had a guy at Hyenas one time. Uh, I was talking about sucking dick for money, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. I said somebody was just talking suck, about what? Sucking dick for money. Oh, That's my favorite know? joke. Say like twenty dollars is twenty dollars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know the joke is, would you? You know, uh, guys that work fucking around. We're up tower all day, right? Working on shit. I right? work on wind turbines. I didn't say that, but you know what I mean. Working on wind turbines during the day, and uh, up tower fucking around. Guy used to joke around. You know, would you suck a dick for me in dollars, right? You, and you're like, nah, man. But. You start thinking about it. It's a lot of money for a few <laughs> minutes worth of work, right? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's like imagine being able to go buy whatever you wanted. And imagine, you know, if you suck a dick for money, you're buying some manly shit, right? Like a four-wheeler go-kart, I don't know, right? Uh, In-ground pool. Right? And all of a sudden, your kid's a cool kid in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that reminds me of Harold and Kumar. He said, I ain't gay. He said, you're gay for sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> That, Not that's you. a classic because everyone says that. <laughs> Your kid's a cool kid in the neighborhood. He's like, you know, uh, <laughs> what do you know this shit, Billy? You got an in-ground pool, Ryan? Like, dude, my dad sucked a dick, bought me all this. Right? You know, <laughs> hey, you're that, lucky, Billy. Always hey, my dad was sucking dick. Hey, that's how I feel about the, the kids with the moms and they be buying them the nice shoes and the nice clothes and shit. It really does happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> happens in real life. You just put it on a man. <laughs> I say it makes it sound better. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. That they're that like, and it's an old man instead. It's an old man instead of sucking. Just still sucking dick, but it's an old man instead. So what y'all think about this? Hey, don't get free game boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what you think about this? You sucking a dick out of prison for five? You going to jail for five years unless you suck a dick? What you doing? Oh, if you suck a dick, you go off. You, no jail. Damn. Hey, that's a good one. Hey, fuck it. Hey, look, Josh's over here. Like, I'm gonna say, look, I just say, fuck it, man. I said, I'm, I'm not going. I said, I'm not going to jail. As soon as you get to jail, you suck in four, right, though? You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> at least a pretty boy like me. Uh, hey, not. look, he said, are you see, the old guys are going to be trying to get at you. They're hey. going to be like, hey, youngster. Hey, but listen, said, come hey, on, but listen. They said, let me talk to you. <laughs> I asked that at, at a show one time, dude. And I said, I was talking to the dude, and I was like, he was a big old motherfucker, right? And I was like, let me ask you something. You going to jail? I asked him that. And he goes, oh, I'm going to jail, bro. I'm going to jail. I was like, you going to jail, dude? <laughs> He's like, yeah, uh, and I'm with a smile, you know, and I was like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, shit, I didn't think about that. I was like, this motherfucker's big, right? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to suck a dick to stay out of jail, right? So, Because uh, otherwise I'm going to suck a dick as soon as I get in there, you know, not by choice, right? And, and, but I was like, this this big motherfucker probably getting his dick sucked in jail, you know what I'm saying? Right? Hey, he goes, he said, can't wait to get yeah, there. Yeah, he's like, I wish a motherfucker would, you know no. what I mean? I, heard, so I saw an interview the other day. He was like, oh, man. He said, I'm glad I've been to prison and seen it firsthand. He said, I done seen all kinds of games being played. He said, them old school guys be like, man. He said, come, come on, man. He said, man, go ahead and jack me off, man. You, you, your hand ain't going to be gay if you jack me off. He said, fuck. He said, they tried that on me. <laughs> let me tell you something funny, bro. My cousin, he'd he been in and out of jail his whole life, right? And uh, 
He told me that he seen dude. They hold little mirrors and like look at their asshole and jerk off, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, bro. Uh, and I was like, and I was like, well, that's where it starts, homie, right? And and, and how long until it's like you're, you know, that's your cellmate looking and jerking off to his own butt. Yeah. And then you come back from the shower and homie's like, hey, dog, let me look at it. Let me look at it, right? <laughs> let me just see it, right? And uh, it ain't gay. And, uh, <laughs> and then hey. a couple weeks later, he's like, let me just touch it, homie. You know what I mean? Hey, that's uh, exactly what the guy was getting at. Like the shit I was talking about. That's said, where uh, they get you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> don't let them see it. Uh, <laughs> Game know. over. Hey, he's like, he was like, he's like, in the, the interview, the guy was like, I'll, to- I'll be telling him to stop hanging around with them dudes he's like and then next thing you know he's like motherfuckers start hitting him with body shots, body shots. <laughs> and then he's like then he starts wrestling with them he said next thing you know he's fucking them he said yeah. you see how far you get with them I said I said Damn. that's that uh, Terrence Gangster Williams that's too that's that he did like 25 fuck, years you know what I mean like I said, I'm sure he done seen the shit hey um, you'd be surprised that's, I mean, that I mean, that's like you sad bro. <laughs> that's a demoralizing that's just like uh, a man <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a fish getting held down and then cut up, you know, you know what I mean, filleted. You just, it's like, oh, fuck, it happened. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> You're trying to squirm, but he going to get you. <laughs> Damn. Hey, that's fucked up. That's why I'm going to be straight. I ain't going to shit. Hey, like, I, bet, I guess Diddy can't wait. So he's... he's yeah, yeah, hey. You we see that, about shit? that shit with Diddy? The he, they say no Diddy now. It's a new phrase. Uh, you see that? No Diddy. All right, so tell me exactly what's going on with it. I've seen a little bit, but I don't know exactly what's going on. Look, all I know ahead, Carlos. is the feds are coming after him. Like, he had all them crazy sex shit going on. I well, then him. fucking the feds came after him. So that means you know he did it if the feds are coming after him. He did something. This motherfucker escaped on a fucking his private jet and is gone to, like, a no extradition fucking island. And I don't know. They're... That motherfucker's doing GTA right now. He straight high in the dog? <laughs> no, he dipped. He, yeah, he, he like, off. got a tip or something, bro. They said they found an underground nah, tunnel that... in his house and everything. Like, Hey, bro, listen. He been he been uh, that famous long enough to be into some weird shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they say he's a black Epstein. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> I'm it's saying it's people, to look like it. And, and by nature, people want what they can't have, right? You know what I mean? And when you've got money and power like that, oh, yeah. you can have whatever you he want. He said, Meek Mill, go ahead and give me that book. Until there's a line where you that's can't. Like and that's how them motherfuckers, they get Don't weird on feelings, that uh, kid shit. Yeah, it's the Epstein Island type shit, dude. Well, I swear to like God, a, man. Just like the Patterson. Exactly, you know, dude. Never, fuck, dude's never been checked, you know, never been told no. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, hey, yeah. no, nah, that's some weird that's fucking fetishes. Yeah, I mean, that I mean, was just, some weird ones. I said, yeah. like, fucking uh, religious fucking fetishes. I said, I said, eh, I don't know where, where they went wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> Patterson, yeah. may have, Patterson may have been one of them things where he was just like on drugs, for, maybe buying from that mom. And she offered it to him, and he was fucked up enough to do it. I, you know, he may not have been like out nah, that, searching that, that, for nah, kids. The way, the way Either way, it's fucked it up. Was and, the screen, and, it was too discreet. Yeah, it seemed deserves. like that wasn't his first time. Like that was. Then he said, "This ain't my first rodeo." He yeah. said, "Go the back road." It probably wasn't, dude. He probably, you know, bro. That, that, that was a lifestyle he was, he was living. It seemed like. But so there, be, I feel like there'll be some crazy shit opinion. like that, like underground rings, like you'll never fucking hear yeah. about. Like it's Definitely. crazy, all this shit's coming out now, like Epstein. Bro, let me tell y'all something. I went to SeaWorld in San Antonio. And we stayed at this pool, bro. And there, uh, I was at the pool with two of the young kids, right? And I was like, dude, this chick started weirding me out, bro. She, uh, I swear to God, had some eye drop tattoos and shit on her face, started weirding yeah. me out. And I was like, dude, if these motherfuckers started, snap- I got some pretty ass kids, dude. Yeah. If one of them snatched my kid, and the other one was still there. I, w- I don't know what I would do. I started freaking. I started having a little panic attack, dude. Uh, <laughs> so, I yeah. swear to God, I that's didn't. What, uh, I mean, that, that's kind of you know just you gotta pay attention to your surroundings. You that's know, why I don't know, smoke I mean. weed. I've never had no <laughs> things like that happen to me unless I smoked weed. I said, well, I said, why am well, I doing like, this? Well, he's like, I'm not you, Carlos. <laughs> I said, please. Yeah. I said, why? I said, just let this go away, please, God. I said, if you do, I said, I swear. I said, I'll stop fucking with Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Am I dying? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, I was like, fuck, I'm going to forget how to breathe. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. Where's my house? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I was telling them I did acid, and I was like, fuck, that, I did some shit like that. And I was like, fuck. I was like, where's everyone at? And I was like, I said, where are my kids at? 
And uh, they weren't they weren't there. Anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah hold on. but I was just tripping. That. I was already tripping so bad. I was like, man, I said I thought I killed my baby mama and everything. Like it's like I had a bad trip. Like Ooh, everything. Y'all, y'all ever done shrooms? Yeah, yeah, I've did I've did shrooms. I say like acid was just no go for me. You like shrooms though? Yeah, yeah I, like I like shrooms. shrooms. It's yes. fucking better yeah, than weed. I like shrooms. Shrooms. That shit is so mellow. I just fucking laugh and we'll talk. That's mm-hmm. how that's how I know I'm old though, right? Like when I was a kid, or seventeen, 20, nineteen, twenty, whatever. I was I, if I found some truths, I was going to do them pretty quick, which I didn't find them often. I did them a few times when I was young, but yeah, back then you did it. You know, nowadays if I find them, I'm a stash for six months ass. and and hope oh, a window fun, opens man. up. I got too many kids. I ain't you know what yeah. I mean. I can't be doing them around somebody who's expecting me to keep them alive, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like it's going to bring the anxiety on, yeah. dude. Right? Yeah. I'm like God damn, you're blowing my. Uh, so I don't do it anymore like that, right? Uh, dude, if, if, if like, the universe ever aligned just right and, and it was, like, one of them times where no priorities and somebody was like, hey, do you want these? And I didn't have shit going on for a couple of days. I'd probably be like, yeah, I'll fucking eat them, right? But yeah. honestly, uh, you, you know. You got so much going on, so much responsibility. Yeah, I yeah. got too much going on. You could microdose them, though, too. Yeah, and yeah. Eat small. They, they used to sponsor some of the comedy, uh, the microdosing out of Canada. Or something. They used to com- uh, sponsor some shows when we first started, dude. Yeah, just They would send a bunch pieces. of stuff to, you know, they'd, we'd, they'd they just said, give them tell out. them try this, this shit on stage. Oklahoma, Oklahoma and all that <laughs> bullshit. Oklahoma's, Oklahoma's like the Wild Wild West out there, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's is. the first place I've ever seen fucking shrooms look crazy. They got them crazy over there. Well, dude, well, now you can just order the shit online and grow them in a Tupperware mm-hmm. in your closet. It's not a, you know. Yep. Yeah. But uh, Oklahoma, as far as the weed goes, dude, they used to, as far when I was growing up, y'all remember? It was like, don't get caught in Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the Bible yeah. built. Yeah. You get caught yeah. with a joint, that's it. That's right. That's fucking worse than And though. now, uh, I, remember, I, remember. I swear to God, they won't fuck with you at all. Uh, yeah. It's you smoke crazy. in front of them. Especially when I'm with Israel, my homeboy, you know, with. No legs and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and he said, arm, that's a free you know, pass. Uh, dude, they don't even <laughs> fuck with you, man. They just like I ain't even gonna. <laughs> I want him to come. Uh, it, it, it's like real, a... dude. He was staying down here too, and he moved back to Lawton, but uh, he got a car now, shit. So uh, I'm, I was happy for him because he was kind of just like stuck uh, yeah. and, and at people. Which I was like, dude, he was like staying right behind me, and I was like, uh, I can help get you to shows and shit, but. Uh, He's from Lawton and shit, and apparently, is. anyways, he moved back that way, and uh, now he's been doing some shows up in Oklahoma, shitty and shit. He'll come down here easily, bro, man. He's a fun yeah. time, dude. He's a fun time. Man, see, y- y- y'all make me uh, say want to have comedy shows there. I, just, I want to see something different. So yeah. it's like uh, my cousin was talking about it, like seeing like rappers and stuff. Rather see small small rappers that are just coming out instead of a fucking big one. And their show sucks. Mm-hmm. I'd rather see a whole bunch of unknown yo, comedians. Yo, like comedy battles, dude. Those are fun. Like <laughs> my, that's what they're doing down in Austin, right? Just like talking shit, like back and, forth? back and forth, bro. You know what I mean? Just like uh, the yo mama. On yeah, like TV. Give, I think, I they, I think they give it. information. I think they <laughs> I, have to get in. I think they fill out like a <laughs> questionnaire, right? Hey, they're like, how old your mom? They're like, put it on here. <laughs> somehow, somehow they get information on each other in their yeah. background, and they just hate on them and talk shit. And it's fun, you know. But they're they're doing those. Uh, Go to their Facebook from like twenty years ago. Like, hey, be like, you gotta put all your battle. social medias on the paper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you gotta put all your social medias on the paper. They go look at all your kids, your mom, and everyone. Probably, dog. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, fucking. Leave a specimen on it. <laughs> Find an ugly picture your mom posted of you when you were a kid. Up. And yeah. they turn it in and says, there, so tell them take it. Fucking mug, <laughs> mug shot and shit, dude. So and they shared a Nana. You know what I'm saying, dude? <laughs> Nana didn't know. <laughs> she was an adult. Now, look, where do you think you're at right now, like, in, in, in your career? So here's what happened. Man, it, it's, it's, it's a matter of, like, progressions and, and goals that you hit and go along the way. I started just like bucket list. It's just something I wanted to say I've tried. I did that, I did that five minutes, it went good. Uh, got invited back, and I just started kind of doing it. And then I got addicted, met some guy, you know, like I say, and it, and it just grew to something, honestly, more than I expected and wanted for a while because it's, I, I can't just. I like my job, dude. My job, I got a good job, and I ain't about to quit for comedy because everybody. That I know as a comedian is broke and left. You know what I'm saying, right? Like, yeah. not really, but you know what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. uh, they're out there hustling, hustling, yeah. And they got a time. second job. Not, uh, and a lot of them really just full time in it, dude. Not a That's lot real. of them full time in it. So, the fact that I can put as much, uh, emphasis, you know, 
uh, focus on work and still hit comedy. Uh, but it got it got to be too much to where my fa- I felt like my family was suffering because we used to, we I got a camper, bro. I don't even use that motherfucker no more since I started doing comedy. Yeah, you're busy. I was busy all the fucking time, and my wife's being cool about it, and uh, up until, you know, but yeah. You said until that lady asked me to sign her tits. No, until, (laughs) (laughs) honestly, until I got, uh, you know, in trouble going back from, uh, I got pulled over and, and, uh, you know, scared and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's the thing I had to start like not make not drinking the shows and right and you know then you gotta start doing comedy sober and that's a that's a that's hard that's one of, well it's just one of those things like even <laughs> just like to have a good time doing it yeah you just, I never you know, even like, when I didn't do so. one like uh, I may not do it drunk but you always have like a drink or something doing it mm-hmm. you know what I mean I haven't but seen one comedian without up. a drink they got like no, liquor dude, or but, something uh, or like a lot of dude I was the last show I was at. Uh, I had a, a non-alcoholic beer because one of the other comedians had non-alcoholic beer because the other one... Dude, there's four comedians there and three of them weren't drinking, dude. It was crazy. Damn, I've never wow. seen that before. I was like, this is a <laughs> yeah, church they're, house. Yeah, they're drinking, doing coke and shit, doing lines. I said, hey, let's do some lines. is a church house. But, the two, hey, but that's the thing is the, the one that was drinking was one of the top two, like the two headliner guys, and... Uh, he was talking about how he uh, fucking does blow or whatever, right? You know what yeah. I mean? He was drinking. He was having a good old time. He was talking about a, <laughs> he was talking about a sex robot that he bought, like a little vacuum box. He right? said, ass, right? fake ass cheeks. I was talking about having a conversation <laughs> with yourself right before. Talking about like, wait, are you ready to be the guy that fucks this robot? You know what I mean? Like this, uh, I don't know. That's, know. Where, that's where we're heading with AI. They're going to have a, a robot, like a no, robot. Let them learn robot. to cook and clean oh, that's what you I know what <laughs> and speak in a Latina voice like, or a, you a could French. Down, I don't know. Uh, they say you, that's what's happening in Japan. They got six robots yeah. that says the motherfuckers ain't fucking their bitches over there. You download a fucking thing on that shit, and she's just like, oh, okay, she knows Too many men, not enough women. You know? You know? They're you making robots. You, need, robot to, you need to go, friend. Hey, next thing you know, right? You know, it'll the next rights they'd be fighting for is robot love. Be like, Hell yeah. yeah. I so want to love a robot. Bitch. I want to love a fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Sooner or later, someone's going to be the first person uh, to marry a robot. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you see them, like, people that uh, marry the sex robot dolls and shit, bro. Rights. Like, and you're like, what the fuck? So imagine that. Like, people like th- like them that marry that shit, and they're just like, oh. He said, don't look at my robot. bitch. Yeah. Look. Yeah, the robot. Yeah. Shit, don't look yeah. at her. And she's, she's all hey, looking forward. He's like, you're looking at the wrong one. Hey, I'll clean her out, though. I'll get her clean. I'll get her professionally clean. Yeah. He said, he said you know, uh, you know you I had her detailed last clean? week. Huh? You don't clean her hard He said, they yeah, just cleaned up the loop holes last week. Steve clean it all, dude. Uh, swipe it. We're we going to start from fresh, need. baby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll run a magnet over the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever I got to do. <laughs> Hell no. You know Oh shit! He's, uh, he's gonna say, "Baby, you could drive. He's, you're gonna have a self-driving car." He's gonna say, "Go ahead." He said, "Have it." They like GPS. And they got the GPS. Hey, but you know they be getting something like that, and then you got the weird motherfuckers that's like, "All right, I'm gonna set it up in a scenario where the bitch don't know me, and I'm gonna come into the window, and I'm gonna rape her, and like hold her down, and then be like, psych, ah, uh, you're my wife, and I'm your own. Like, ah, hey, that's you know? They make the robot have a shock face and goes like. <laughs> oh, oh shit, dude. Guy, I this is what doing that. They're like, yep. They say, we know what sales. They're like, mm-hmm. we know what sales. They're like, put mm-hmm. the face mm-hmm. on her. They said, what face? Her. Hey, what hey, face? Hey, that bitch Somebody charges in the dryer. You know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> stuck in the dryer and charging, dog. You know what I mean? Uh, come home, wake them up. <laughs> See. You know. This is wild. Yeah, that, that, that shit's going to be a trip, man. The future is going to be a motherfucking. Hey, y'all it's gonna hear, be a shit show. Y'all wanna hear some funny shit though? We just uh went to spring break. Like I had to take a whole week off, bro. I only get two of them motherfuckers. I had to take a whole week off because my wife, you know, and we don't we almost didn't go because she hit her period and I was just like, I don't, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck this. And it ain't even about like uh the the blood, it's more the attitude with it, right? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. If it was just the blood, I'd be like, all right, babe, we'll just keep you out the water right you know what i mean but other with the attitude you're like all right we'll just catch the next one right you know but dude we went down to raging or epic waters right and uh we stayed at this hotel get back we was all kind of tired whatever i got some kids right and my uh daughter my oldest had a friend with her so there's a bunch of kids in there and so they passed out early 
but I don't fucking sleep early, right? I'd eat up, and uh, <laughs> I'm out there, like, walking around. Because there's a fucking band and a festival right next Carlos to the Zyla. fucking hotel. I live, like, I live off of them. Dr. Bro, Gizzon I can me. throw a rock, and there's a band right here, right? So my wife's like, these fuckers are being loud, you know what I mean? And <laughs> I look out the window, I'm like, there's a fucking baby right there. There's a baby awake, you know what I mean? There's the kids running around having a good time. Y'all tripping, it ain't even late. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> she was joking. She's like, I'm going to go over there and say, my husband, uh, if y'all don't shut up, my husband's going to whoop y'all's ass, oh, you know? Shit. And uh, joking Damn. around. She's joking. She's joking. But I was like, yeah, they come over here and be like, yeah, uh, he did say that. I don't know where he went. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm you're that gay best friend. I hate that you're going to say we're in a throuple and he just uh, left. <laughs> hey, hey, you talk about sucking dicks out of jail. You suck a dick stay out of a fight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that at all. I'll hit my ass. Whoop. Uh, Remember, guys, he's a comedian. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah, you, you like, know, fuck, they're going to be hitting jokes. you up now. On we Facebook. do jokes. Yeah, don't be signing be my DMs. Dude. Gay guys in uh, your inbox uh, now. Uh, yeah, hey, hey, hey. He, did have a, he did have a friend do that to him one day. <laughs> if I say something and y'all think in y'all's head, I wonder if he's joking. I'm fucking joking. You know, I'm, a, I'm oh, joking yeah. about oh, it, right? A, you know? He is a comedian. Hey, I say, if y'all think I'm not, then test me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck around and find <laughs> out. You know what I mean? Shout out my boy Joshua Davis sent 20 stars. Uh, <laughs> they say, already. Uh, yeah, that's the big yeah. dog right hey, there. Hey, look, they said, hey, uh, they want your cash app. <laughs> They're asking for your cash app on their already. They said, send the stars. Yeah. Have you ever told a joke that's went too uh, far? 20 more. Yeah, dude. I, uh, I, I, I walked that line, please. man. You know what I mean? I tell, uh, like for real though, uh, I I just tell shit that's going on in my life, and some you know might take it as offense, whatever it might be. I just talk, you know, like I the the house I, I just moved back in August, or whatever. But the house I lived in before, the house next door, and this was a pretty decent like fucking neighborhood. And, and the house next door was a home for mentally retarded like boys or <laughs> some oh, guys, fuck. right? You know, and I got three fuck. girls. At the I time, know. I got three girls. And I'm like, mm, I don't know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, anyways, it was a nice house on the corner lot, and the house didn't have no signs or nothing, right? It just had a ramp up. So I was like, uh, how are you supposed to know, <laughs> right? Yeah. You know what I mean? They Is there an ad I sign. can get? Hey, they put so, a hazard sign, <laughs> bro. Uh, but honestly, it was like they were. You know, pretty severe, whatever. Right? <coughs> uh, but I used to joke because one day I was out in the backyard and I got, and the lady, dude, it was worked by like uh, shift workers. Like uh, a homeboy would come pick up his chick or a cab or whatever, right? But, uh, uh, oh, we're getting paid. It'd be a homeboy be coming in and, and just picking up his chick, bumping shit, bumping music at midnight at shift change, picking up his own girl. And my other neighbor, Larry, he's a big, scary motherfucker. He actually big runs, Larry. hey, he runs, <laughs> ca- you know, Cash Advance right here or, uh, uh, Alamo? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Larry. That's my old neighbor, Larry, dog. Uh, y'all oh, know him? He's an intense fuck. motherfucker. He's he's cool. He's an intense... Which Alamo? Do you mean Alamo Finance? Right the fuck behind you, dog. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, that's my... Hey, Larry was my neighbor, and he will knock motherfuckers out. Uh, <laughs> he said, you didn't pay bro, your motherfucking payment. This ain't that kind of loan for hey, right now. He, uh, he's, he's fun, bro. He... Uh, He's fun. Dude, one time we was chilling outside in my driveway. This is a good story, y'all. This is a good story. Because I got all <laughs> girls, just so that's clear. I got all girls. Y'all listen up out there in the Facebook world uh, or internet. But it, we're out there chilling. We're having a couple drinks. And he's got some big boys. He's got all boys, all three boys. I got girls at this time, right? And uh, we're out there drinking. He's already drunk when he comes over there. And he calls his son. He's like, hey, bring me a couple more beers over. And his son comes over. And his son's a big boy, eighth grade or something. And he was like... Go ahead and tell him. I know you want to tell him. <laughs> and the kid looks at me and he goes, well, I, I hit a kid so hard that he, you know, I don't know. And the, the high school coaches were there and they were hooping and hollering, whatever, right? And I was like, uh, oh, that's cool. You know, I, I was like, I wish, because this kid's big. I was like, I wish I was bigger, dude. I, you know. Uh, I said, I knocked the fuck out of something. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, was, I was like, I wish I was your size in high school, whatever. And uh, he goes, uh, you were small. Larry looks up and he goes, you were small, and he looks at his son. He goes, "And you're a bitch." And and the kid, eighth grade kid, he looks all timid. And Larry, like I say, Larry's a, he keeps it real though. I'll say that. He said, uh, he looks at him. He goes, I, uh, "I'm not scared, Dad, uh, or I'm not a bitch, Dad. You're a bitch." 
Oh man, my son does that to me all the time. <laughs> no, and the kid, and Larry goes, hey Larry, hey, listen, Larry goes, uh, hey, I went to state four times and won three. <laughs> Better check your facts for coming, me motherfucker. You know, and he's drunk, right? And at first I'm like, what the fuck just happened, dog? But listen, don't don't judge it. At first, uh, I was yeah. thinking about it. I was like, dude, his son is big enough to whoop my ass probably, and he got three of them uh, that are. Together they can for sure uh, uh, hit me from the back and sides and shit. You know what I'm saying? Jump your ass. So oh. here's what I'm saying: like I got girls, I don't keep it alpha like that. Like that, maybe he's got to. You know what I'm saying? At his yeah. house, he got some big ass motherfuckers that he's got to keep it alpha with. So I didn't even judge him on that. I was like, you know what? Keeping it. Open. That I, I, I almost respected <laughs> him more for it. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wait till you go to sleep, Dad. I'm but dude, he ass. kept it real with him. I check yeah, your but... facts for you coming, me motherfucker. And I was like, God. Damn, Larry got him. You know? uh, but Larry, uh, I like old Larry, dude. He, come, I had a mouse fall out a rat. Uh, they'd come in my garage trying to get dog food and shit, right? One of them fell in, and it was an empty trash. I had a couple pieces of dog food in it, fell in it. it scared the shit out of me. I was like, God damn, dude, you know? I try, I was going to try to stab him with a shovel, and I was like, nah, this is this is weird, right? So I didn't want to stab him with a shovel. So I, I ended up forgetting about him. When I was fucking with the kid, I forgot about him. And then come back, and it was Thanksgiving. Uh, this was a couple years ago, or year, whatever. Come back, it's Thanksgiving, and I'm like, if this motherfucker's still in there alive, like two days later, if he's still alive, I'm going to let him out. It's going to be a Thanksgiving Day miracle. You know what I mean? So I, Larry comes over, too, right? And he's and I'm like, uh, Larry, grab him then. Grab him. And he goes, I'm going to grab him. I'm like, no, nah, don't do that. Wait till I get my phone out, right? You know, so I grab my <laughs> phone, and he's like hyping. He's a big motherfucker. He's like hyping himself up. He's going to grab this fucking rat out of this trash can, and... He comes down, he's like, boom, he thumps that rat on the head, dude. You know, and he's like, I ain't going to grab him. I ain't going to grab him. I just thumped him. He's like, yeah, that's probably smart. Yeah, that's probably smart. <laughs> so I was like, I come out, and he's still there. I'm going to let him out. I go out and in the street, dump him out. Nothing in there but a couple pieces of dog food. Probably his piss, dump it out. It starts running in a circle. Because it's in a trash can for three, four days. It's just been running in a circle, dude. It's retarded now, dude. I was yeah. like, it was like a green mile rat, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and I kicked it with my boot. I was like, get out of here, homeboy. You know, it just ran around. I don't know. It's all running in circles trying to get away. What the I, fuck? Yeah, I don't, well, it just was gone. I think it was dehydrated. Who knows? It was probably just... Seeing shit, it was it's probably, yeah, it was yeah. probably playing fucking Mario Brothers, dog. He didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> so he was riding the white lightning. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. <laughs> Five was heading west, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so what's up? We got some people watching or what? How are we doing out there, guys? Yes, yeah, so they're sending money. They're tipping you like a stripper. Like a stripper. Yeah. So this is going crazy, got, uh, bro. I mean, I'm telling you, I've been lucky. Uh, Four, four. God damn lie to me, son. You know what I'm saying? No. Nah, they usually watch it. No. Nah. They pop, they pop yeah. in and out. Oh, he's talking about 400. I'm no, sorry no, out no, there, really. no. He's talking about 400. Yeah, and, uh, Idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have our don we no. have our denomination changed. You know what I'm saying? It's a multiplier. You don't know. You nah, don't bro, need to you, know the hey, math you gotta behind remember, it. But YouTube, if you see one up in the corner, it means a thousand. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Hey, YouTube, though, is the place to uh, yeah. get out there. That's, that's the I place. don't know algorithm. You know what I mean? I you get get, good you shit say some shit. That's, you need to just say some crazy shit. We'll make a clip out of it. Well, dude, bro, I get, <laughs> hey, I get, I have good, uh, I have some good clips of funny shit and it, uh, off the wall, just like not playing shit at, at shows, you know, at good shows too. It's fun. Mm. No, because you got to imagine like fucking like right here, like, it's, like me and him, a lot of them just fucking just talking, just saying shit because. We're like best friends, just talk shit to each other all day. Oh, so yeah. we'll say some crazy shit to each other, board. and they'll make a fucking clip out of it. Oh, yeah. So anything like the sucking dick thing, it might be a clip. You never know. So if you might be, he might be in hey, another country somewhere. What's, what's always on weird with me? Hey, hey, let me <laughs> ask y'all. Hey, y'all got kids? Yeah, yeah. Let me ask y'all this: six. How y'all feel about this? Like, Mike, I got, I like I say, I got three girls. They're coming at that age to where it's like they're about to see you on line talking about sucking dick oh, and man, shit. Yeah, bro. Like, and yeah, I'd be keeping it like, you know. A hundred. <laughs> no, I don't at home. You know, I'd be keeping like, it like... Said, uh, but, on, but online you do. <laughs> well, yeah. My, my she, oldest knows. She knows yeah. what's up. Uh, but the other ones, they, you know what I mean? They don't know dads ain't about shit yet, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, right now, daddy hung the moon. They about to find out it's because he knocked it fucking down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's fucking funny, eh? Hey, because my kids, they did be watching the fucking clips on YouTube. 
Hey, my son's like yeah. six years old. Hey, it might be liking it. My oldest be liking it. I'm like, God, that ain't Damn. great. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, she yeah. Had, in high school dancing. Oh, man. Just got her car, you know, and she's a good kid. Uh, Bro, and, and like I said, I don't, I don't talk all crazy like that. And, yeah. and especially my wife, she works at a great place. And mm-hmm. I, I thought she would be more like, what you the tone fuck it down. are you doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> like, uh, is this a midlife crisis early? <laughs> at, you know what I mean? And maybe it was, but uh, honestly, I, uh, uh, it would just happen to be that time when I tried it, right? You yeah. know what I mean? But. No, I don't know. I don't well, know. Your wife, it's funny you say that, wife, Your wife could have probably, you know, told him, like, hey, like, this is his dream, and that's pretty tight. You know, their kid, your kids are probably like, well, shit, he's chasing his dream. You know Bro, what I'm saying? Bro, she just bought and that's... me tickets to Kill Tony. I don't know if you know what that is. Yeah. Have you heard of Kill Tony? uh uh-uh. So Kill Tony in Austin, it's like the number one live podcast oh, shit. in the world is what they claim. I don't know, but... Either way, it's in, it's in Joe Rogan's club, Mothership, in Austin, okay? Oh, all right, all right. Every Monday night, like 200 people sign up, and... Uh, you know, you might have Mark Norman. You might have Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn's been there. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, they said uh, the door guy even fucking got in, and he, he's pretty good. Uh, well, Mitch, the guy that lives in town now, he was on there with Shane Gillis uh, as a guest. Shane Gillis, Mitch, and Tony. But uh, yeah, they draw a few names, and you get up there, and you get a minute if they draw your name. I've never been down there, dude. It's hard for me, to, like I say, with with kids and and work. I work a lot, homeboy. Yeah. Overtime is where I make my money. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. trying to like, uh, I ain't trying to go to Austin and spend a bunch, but especially with a what, they draw five names out of probably 200 tickets that get put in. You know what I mean? Your chances aren't good, and you're hanging but, out in the alley most of the time, anyways. But my wife, she bought tickets, so I get to watch the show. Because sometimes when they draw it, it's like, oh, this is somebody from the inside. Most of the time, these motherfuckers are hanging out in the alley because there ain't no room for them in the club. Damn. You know what I mean? There's yeah. 200 of them. But they get down in the alley, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're, they're probably over uh, there. They had to move to a bar because they was getting too down in the alley, man. They was fucking wilding out. 200 people out there waiting to get Hell their name yeah. called. And a lot of them, they didn't think it was going to get called. They get caught up and they're hammered by this time. It's the end of the show. Taking but, shots and drinking. But y'all seen that one where it's like, uh, I'm not retarded, but I like rocks. Y'all seen that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah seen that's that. Kill Tony, dude. That's uh, oh, And Saul, Tom Segura was on there when yeah, he was yeah. saying that, dude. Oh, right. Yeah. So I'm going May so you're gonna 6th, enter your name and I'm though. signing up, dude, and that's I'm going to be I'm inside, about. dude. That's it. That's all I wanted to hear. Well, good luck, man. Which hey, hey, you're going to be on there, bro. Is, Watch. is the dude who's been booking me lately, he you know, he does shows down as a mothership, uh, and he knows fucking Tony. He was on the show, man. I got lucky yeah. meeting Homeboy. He's, he's booked me on some good shows, dude. Nice, that's tight. My kid babysat for him actually a lot, so it's like you know, he, <laughs> Look he, out, he, he almost needs to keep me happy, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, it's like, hey, they ain't easy to come by. Him, I got a good ass kid, dude. And I got a uh, fucking, you know, used to be a church couple days, a couple days a week. Uh, I'd be like, hey, we don't need to go uh, all the goddamn time. Uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Like Jesus, he's, he's right. He's right here. Going to church, huh? You're really going to church. Dude, I went this weekend. Uh, what do they think about your career? Man, you know what? They said, let him live. Hey, I don't post it on Facebook, but my father-in-law, he like teach. He goes out to the prison and teaches to them. Uh, oh, he's a chaplain. At all, at all red, uh, fucking. Man, uh, how, how do you balance it, though? Them. But it's, it's crazy because, like, my whole life, I've been that guy that had, you know, I'd always talk about that with people that knew me, but, like, out there in the business world, because I was always, like, sales and shit. I was keeping yeah. it, keeping it. Proper, you know, a white boy proper, you know. <laughs> keep it hey, yeah. Even keep though it I grew up, uh, <laughs> he said, I grew up in dog pound, you know what I mean? Dog patch, dude, uh, fucking oh, dog patch. 32nd, 31st, you know, I lived a few of those streets growing oh, up for a while, wood. right, dude? <laughs> hey, he said, stomp down wood. This but, hey, Southeast, <laughs> hey, I went to Southeast Boys Club right there, dude. That's yeah. where I grew up. That's where my babysitter was, dude. You know what I mean? Dog, dog Mom. People always say that's why I said I was just. I didn't, I didn't. He's from Ohio. No, it's because the headphones. So. Yeah. Yeah, we can barely hear. Uh, they got a dog. The guys pet, from Pittsburgh. They got man, a dog no patch in Pittsburgh. Man. Dog. Got, man, guys, yeah. He's illiterate, man. Yeah. They don't teach. Uh, uh, hey, no, I'm fucking with yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, it's just too much to go back and explain the joke. Just shut up, man. You're from Pittsburgh. You're not in on this. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I think it's funny though. Like fucking, I, I didn't think you went to church for like not as a comedian. Well, dude, I, it's not like I 
you know, say anything too crazy, right? I do say some crazy shit, uh, and I cuss a little more than I probably should, but that's just the world we live in these days, dude, and uh, that's what people want in comedy. They want to be... Man, the, you, the people that that always talk about wanting this fucking clean comedy, they don't buy comedy tickets and show up for comedy. People that go to comedy clubs, they ready to have a good time. Bro, I've never mm-hmm. heard of clean know. comedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where, do they do, where do they do clean comedy at? Bro, I've been asked to do clean comedy <laughs> a lot, man. Uh, Church is yeah, a lot of, lot of churches. Man, I just can't imagine. Like, too, give me an example of a clean comedy joke. Like, I got, I really well, got. Well, I can keep it. I can do clean without. Uh, some of my shit might be clean without cussing or yeah, something. Yeah, you just right? don't cuss. You know Pretty I mean? much, just don't cuss. It and ain't got to be. Say pussy, it ain't got to be like PG twelve. You can't it's say PG-13. that. It's Thirteen kind of story. It has to be something else, bro. It could I mean, be just some like non, uh, you know, some like shit you could put on. Uh, well, I guess more raunchy than ABC or so. You know what I mean? Hey, they like, said late night uh, showtime. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. said where you could say a little bit. He said they're almost naked, but not naked yet. Yeah, yeah. That's the kind of channel. From he, eleven he to twelve, he used to watch. Be, that's the type he of comedy. He used to from beat off to those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you had to get cre- you had to get creative back in the day, dude. You know what I mean? Nowadays, the, the kids got point. it at their fingertips, dude. Back in the day, you had to dig around for a VHS, right? You know what I'm yeah, saying? That VHS. Was put it back where you came from. For, or or Playboy magazine. Hey, this motherfucker hey. pulled a VHS out of a fucking uh, Disney movie and goes. Shh. And it's a fucking yeah. porno. <laughs> bro, hey, they need a... Uh, nowadays, you got all the little small... You can store it all on a little disc, you know. Uh, yeah. They need a closet to, to get all the shit Othon's looking at, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, shit, I found one at my grandma's one time, bro. We were like... <laughs> we were sitting over here. Nah, but I had, one of my cousins was living there. I ain't gonna put him on blast, but he knows who he is. <laughs> so let me see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, and we were sitting over there. Oh, we were, bro, hey, we were kids. We were like him, little kids, bro. And we popped that shit in we're just like what's this and then we're like oh shit he like, said banging bitches number nine bro it was like a, a blank tape. Hey, if i'm the cousin i'm like yeah i'll take the blame for that yeah, you know that ain't blank my, as fuck because then like, it's like nobody it? knows maybe it was nana's you know what i'm saying he goes fuck uh, he goes this is nana's got to eat too right you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, he didn't hear me. I ain't going to say it. You're a little sick motherfucker. (laughs) Tell you who it was. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you have that at your grandma's house? You're a freaky motherfucker. (laughs) It was our grandma's house, fool. Uh, What the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you're talking about guilt. You know what I mean? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Hey. That's, that's just the algorithm he's got online, you know what I mean? He's searching all them gills. Hey, look, he's like that. He's like, my fucking algorithm of VHS tapes was crazy. He said, I miss Harry Pussy. Yeah, hey, that's, that's how I feel. Uh, Playboys. That, look, that's, Same, that's, exactly, you know? that's exactly what I thought about the fucking building, because I was like, man, them fucking wood panels. I said, man, that motherfucker's a ball fro all over. I'm going to be on the balcony up there with Bro. fucking ball fro out, barely any dick, just the fucking tip. All fucking fro like that. You do what's up, man? That is some, <laughs> hey, that, that, that decor out there. That's what it says. It's some Harry's ass decorations, dude. I, now that I think about it, dude, I know that's probably like why that. I like it so much. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's probably why I like it. That's what, that's like what it. I always think about whenever I see the brown carpet and I say, they're shagging bitches mm-hmm. in here. <laughs> then you get hard, hit. right? You know what I mean? Let's have some hit parties. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, this is a nice place, though, man. Y'all are, y'all are uh, doing oh, something. I like it, man. I like it. No, but see, look, that's why, like, I like funny shit, though. Like, I don't know. Say anybody that takes themselves too serious won't make it on here. But you, you got it. <laughs> I appreciate say, that. For appreciate sure. That, I, say, I had a good time. It was <laughs> a good fun. time. For real. It was yeah, funny. Sure. <laughs> Same, man. I, I, I should bring some buddies <laughs> back, dude. I got something from uh, down down towards uh, Dallas, up north, dude. One of the dudes that hosts shows down in Dallas, dude. He comes down every now and then. I'm... Uh, I met him at a few shows, and when I was in Dallas staying uh, for training, I fucking went and helped on one of his open mics at TK's Comedy. And dude's got AIDS. Hey, and I he kept went talking to that one, AIDS, bro. Dude. I went to that one and watched the, a comedian. You've been from to TK's? Cali. Yeah, bro. That guy's funny as fuck. Which, the owner. I don't know the owner. I've only been up there uh, uh, one night. I didn't even know about the place. I went up there one night for open mic because my dude was running it. Mm-hmm. But Mitch, the guy that uh, lives here that's been putting me on, he's done a show up there too, you know? Yeah, it, it was pretty tight, man. The owner was funny it's as fuck. It's a dinner too. comedy. It's not a comedy yeah. club so much as a dinner comedy thing kind of thing but i don't know it's like you sit there I think and they they're order a little drinks more and food and shit places like, like that they 
places like that don't always book the uh, edgier comedy. Uh, they do. Bro, that guy was saying some fucking crazy shit about his fuck. He's like his uncle and him being a kid. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 you already yeah, know what I'm talking about. If you've been like, doing it a while, yeah. He they, was, they, he was uh, fucking. But if they don't know you, they ain't going to take a chance on a edgy comedy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you know, if you got somebody like Valjean or you know, or you're, there's not, dude, there's so many nationally touring comedians I've never even fucking heard of. Every time they broke through, I've never heard of You know of what? Uh, someone said that shit the other day. It was an interview and he was like, stand up comedians. He was like, there's only like a few hundred of us. And so fucking, I, I forgot who the fuck was saying it. He said there's only so many few hundred comedians though, but I was thinking that there's, there's not a, a lot. There's a, dude, there's fucking, there's quite a few really out there just grinding, trying to make it. There's a lot. And a lot of them are touring the country and you'll never hear them mm-hmm. because they're opening for somebody. And, and honestly, you'll see someone pop up on Kill Tony talk, and then they'll just get up and they'll bomb. And they're like, dude, how long have you been doing comedy? He's like 15 years. And yeah. uh, they somebody just put them on. And uh, sometimes maybe a, this the shows they're doing is the you know they're not maybe the biggest show, so they're wanting somebody who's maybe not better than them. You yeah. know, I don't know. Some people just put on shows and have enough people coming at, at crowds. The people that put on the shows may not be a great comedian, mm-hmm. but they. Get a, they pull, you know what I mean? Yeah, so they bring know. the people in. Yeah, shit, I wouldn't give a fuck. I said, I just want to get paid. I said, That's, sell yeah. the tickets. I said, if he's good, Bro, he's good. I said, let him be. The first time I went to Hyenas that night, I started why we did back to back show sold out. That was the most I ever made doing comedy, dude. Mm-hmm. Most I made four. I did, I had fifteen minute, ten or fifteen minute sets back to uh, like you know one show, and then the next show I did another ten or fifteen minute set. And I think I got paid like four hundred bucks, dude. Nice. And I, I, it was a fortune to me at that time, dude. Even though I spent two hundred on the hotel because it was a fancy ass so area. So we always times it times one hundred. Hundred, yeah, hundred, yeah. yeah, of course, 4, dude. Four thousand. <laughs> and I, <laughs> and I, and I, and I forgot to specify, yeah, <laughs> hey. uh, yeah, dude. They said like the same I, thing with girls. It was either that or buy. Uh, it was either you know. Stay in that area or buy a Lambo. I didn't know what to do with the money, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what they say. They said if a guy said he made 400, you do it like the girls. When they say they slept with 10 guys, you multiply it by 10. So. That's that's what we're going with, and that's exactly that's the rule. Hey, <laughs> unless the IRS is asking, you know, he goes saying, right, 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 right. Uh, <laughs> I invested in right. Bitcoin, dog. <laughs> right, <laughs> I did that shit for charity. Late what though, too late. Like the other day when it dropped, dude, I lost it all. <laughs> No, uh, this is nice, man. This is fun. I like this kind of shit. You back feel like forth. you're on the news, I'm, you know? Huh? I'm like back at you. Back to me. Hey, like it's hey, the news. Uh, <laughs> hey, have y'all seen that Doctor Phil live shit? Have y'all seen no. that? Uh, I wanted to get a fucking deal. I wanted, I wanted to fucking pull it on and look well, at this. Say, guy, Let's get he's real. Doing, he's like a he's a touring comedian, but he does Doctor Phil live. He's been on Kill Tony, he's guest of the year. Doctor Phil introduced him at some big show. What the fuck? But dude, he interviews like like Matt Rife. He interviewed. He interviews like big comedians. And he's in character the whole time. And he'll be talking to the crowd at first, and they'll say something, and he was like, I don't think I like your fucking attitude, you know? <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back. You know? He's just, <laughs> yeah, he's just in character the whole time, and it's fucking hilarious. You know the Chinese Bobby uh, Bobby Lee? And yeah, Andrew, yeah, yeah. the redhead, is gen- uh, they have bad... Uh, Friends podcast, I think is what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, people be walking out on their shit a lot, dude. They, <laughs> they, he interviewed them at the comedy store in L.A. You know, damn. But yeah, we ought to get uh, um, Israel from Oklahoma and Mitch, the L.A. comedian that's in town, get him down here. Uh, Mitch is is fucking doing a lot of stuff down in Oak, in uh, Lawton and uh, or Lawton. I mean Austin. Uh, he's he's doing shows regularly at the mothership, dude. No, I'm and, down. I'm yeah. down to have anybody. Always. He'd be a good guy to get in here and talk to, too. He's been, like I say, he's been throwing me a lot of great shows. I mean, I, like I say, I'm a guy that works comedy part-time, and I'm lucky to be getting some of these good shows I've been getting, dude. Uh, Matt Farrell Comedy. I want to shout out to Matt Farrell and Wayne Morris, dude. Uh, they, uh, My Peacock Comedy, they they did a lot for me when I was starting out, dude. Nice. You know, a lot for me. And they're doing a festival. Let me just say this. Uh Wild Wild West uh, Festival, I think it starts April 5th. Uh, yeah, it starts April 5th. I'll be in New York because I can't perform. I submitted for it and, and got it, was going to do it, and then I was like, what's the dates? And I was like, oh, fuck, I can't. I'm going to New York for work, right? I got to go for training. But uh, Brownwood, Texas, they're doing it. Los Trace uh, or something, Wild Wild West. My, just look up My Peacock Comedy. You can figure it out. But uh, y'all go check them out, man. They they 
they do a lot for comedy too. Andrew Patterson up in uh, Lawton, Oklahoma, at a tattoo. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what you were yeah, talking about? Him. Mom, he, yeah, I think he, he had it everyone at the same time. He must be really getting it right now because fuck, he added me and I added him. Was, Andrew's great, dude. He's put. He does he a looks lot for comedy, familiar, dude. Though, like, and he's a, one of the best tattoo artists I, I've he, ever yeah, seen. Yeah, me and him were both saying he looks really fucking familiar. Like I don't know where the fuck I know his face from. I just know his fucking face for some reason. Yeah. Dude, he's 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 good. Yeah, he gets down on those tats. Get him so. on the show. Yeah, say so get him on the show. That's I'm gonna say. I gotta see him in person. I'm gonna say you look familiar. He's gonna think I'm trying to holler at him like a girl. And everybody's, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's yeah. gonna get Andrew, the look. Hey, a- Andrew can take it. He's fun like that though. You know what I mean? He'll. Uh, you never know. He'll joke around until he, he might make out with you and say, psych, you know that. <laughs> That's my kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Hey, no, hey, look. He said, this dude's <laughs> sick. Hey, this, this dude kissed me he back. He's mad. gay. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, That's how I do Josh all the time. It's like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. hey, it's, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like that family guy when they're like, hey, we should Get corner the we should corner all the nerds and make them show us their penis, you know. Wouldn't that be good them, you know? Hey Jack, go grab the gun. Yeah. <laughs> you mean the tongs? Now look, what do you think? Look, look, if it came if it came down to it, and if, if comedy paid you a little less than your job, would mm-hmm. you leave your job? No, nah, bro, I like just my a job, little dude. You I love like, your job that much? Dude, a grinding comedian is hard to do. No, I, no, I mean just a little less than what you're making it work, and you made that as a comedian. Mm. Just a little less. Consistently making a little? Yeah, consistently uh, like making a little Like how much little? Like 10 grand less? You say a year. A huh? year. 10 grand a year. 10 grand a year? Oh, I'm, I would I would for sure consider Definitely. that. It, it, if I don't know if we're talking base uh, or overtime, right? You know what I mean. No, uh, fuck the overtime. I you like can't get climbing overtime. towers, though. You know, <laughs> but it, it, it's rough, dude. I feel like it is starting to hurt my body climbing these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it, hey, so this is fun. I love doing this. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I never even thought like people would even watch me. I was like, man, that's why I made the studio because I was like, well, if this shit just sucks. I was like, I might look gay as fuck, like I'm like a rapper mm-hmm, or something mm-hmm. at 40 years old or something, doing a podcast, recording myself. But I hey, said, it ain't easy putting yourself out there, dude. No, nah, it's not. And a lot of people won't. So yeah. that's the thing. That was like, well, shit. So it worked out. So I was like, fuck it. And now, like, it's crazy because all kinds of people see it, it's just fucking weird. Bro, I, I when I was a kid, I used to tell people, I was, they'd be like, are you, where are you from? Where's that accent from? It was just like <laughs> speech impediment. That's where it's <laughs> from. You know what I mean? But like, I would. Uh, Tell them I was from England and stuff just to get out of it. Dude, they would be like, I mean, what's your name? And I'd say, Brent. Brent. I don't know how I'd say it, but they, they would say, Brett. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah I just go. got tired. <laughs> do you remember Do you remember being that young having that? Do you remember? No, uh, I don't remember you sp- having that. It was, it was se- okay, so seventh or sixth grade, they come up to because my sister had it too. Sixth grade, they come up to me. They say, you got to go to speech class. You know what I mean? It's like coming up to you and saying, you don't walk right. You know what I mean? Well, I hey, hey what if y'all just got a fucking Boston accent all of a sudden? Dude. And y'all didn't know y'all were born with it. <laughs> it's like waking like up from a Texas. coma knowing, <laughs> and knowing <laughs> Chinese. You know? I, 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 feel, I feel your pain. That's just like telling me you have to go to the ESL. You got to what? Go to the ESL. Yeah. You know, Mexicans, we had to go to ESL. Hell, fuck. Well, dude, I was in there with, <laughs> hey, hey, in, <laughs> hey, in junior high, it was just me. And Timmy, retarded Timmy. Did anybody go to Bar Wise in my time? Did anybody go to Shout out to Timmy. Yeah, said, I, shout I, out to him. Timmy, uh, I hate the hard arm, but that was my homeboy, so I can do that. He, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, buddy, we took speech together. Hey, he was more there than Wasn't people gave him credit for. Up. He would walk around the uh, uh, the halls, and this was junior high Bar Wise back in the day. He'd walk around with an air shotgun talking about, what up, and just air blasting motherfuckers. <laughs> I feel like that would go differently now these days, days, dude. Days, dude. Uh, even with the leeway, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but dude would keep his key on his uh, fucking uh, and pass out. Dude, uh, but yeah, they fixed me. They fixed me. Uh, he said they Timmy, fixed me. you know what he's doing these days? I don't even know. He, uh, I don't think they fixed him, dog. <laughs> he said motherfucker's not on Facebook. He couldn't spell it. Him. <laughs> hey, so he couldn't See, spell it got, either. Uh, y'all, y'all got me on Facebook? Uh, damn, <laughs> I don't do Facebook. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got me under cussing on Facebook, dude. Oh, oh, fuck, 18, hey, so too too late. The congregation oh, too late to go back. It's going to look down. They're yeah, going to say, canceled, they're gonna say, brother. We need to throw some holy water on it. They're going to say, brother, that's it. They say you're out of here. I know. <laughs> they I said know. ten strikes. We gave you the chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's crazy is, uh, like, let it slide. You know, you said, uh, you know, people think you're uh, one way or the other, but uh, the truth is, I grew up in a trailer park for. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, 
I was that guy <laughs> back then. You know what I mean? You get out of it a little bit, right? You know what I'm saying? I know y'all know what I'm saying. Right? <laughs> he said, he said, Who he else said, in this motherfucker living in a trailer park or two? take the guy right? out the trailer, you know but you can't take Dog, the trailer out the guy. Who didn't live in a trailer back then around here, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. I lived in a trailer. I know the most. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you call it? The fucking, uh... Bro, the phone would ring. It'd be like for the neighbors. Like, hey, run down and tell the neighbor the phone's for her. I'm like, why don't that bitch get a phone? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we it. have anybody watching or what? Yeah. How we doing? People. No, we did good. So. No, but they come back and watch. When they yeah, it's work. weird. Yeah. Hey, people were like watching good like, episode. they're like, oh. Yeah, good episode. You know people got short attention spans now. Yeah. yeah, well, actually, you know, there's people scrolling. They get to scrolling and they, they watch for a little bit. No, it's I'm, uh, yeah, scrolling. Yeah, they come sure. back. It was fun, fun man. I like it, dude. We're going to blow you the fuck up. The sucking dick one, you're going to go fucking oh, yeah, crazy. Probably 20,000. Oh, you said it. You said it. Take my other stuff. Don't take my Facebook. Dude, that's my, like, uh. Oh, that's, that's not the family shit. when it's That's my fun. family shit. Hey, his, boss, uh, his boss is oh. going to see this shit. He's going to be like, hey, no, so you want to raise? No, he didn't specify. I ain't tripping about nothing. Fuck. It, uh, hey, listen, I'll be honest with y'all. Everybody doesn't, see, everybody doesn't see my comedy. It's not a big deal. I just don't always post on Facebook. But that don't mean nothing. I, my wife's uh, grandma seeing it is probably the you know the one person. <laughs> she said he's not God-fearing. Be like, why, said, are, why are hey, these people I, I, commenting on It ain't on even me. a big deal. Everybody knows I do what I do. You know what I mean? They, I post my videos across all my Man, platforms. You're, hey, you're not a porn star or something. Nah. Hey, say, nah, is nah. That, there ain't nothing you, they can say. You're not one of the, the FBI. Uh, I don't even you? care about posting my shit for anybody else. It's just like the fact that I got grown, like these daughters growing up, and it's like... I keep the Facebook sometimes, you know what I mean, but uh, these, these kids, they're going to see it, right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you can't hide it from them. But at True. the same time, they're see they're getting social media young. They're trying to at least, dude. Yeah. I mean, they're going to. Yeah, they got yeah. social media at their hands. My, I mean, daughter their is, hands of my daughter is like 12. She's like, yeah. She's like, uh, uh, my classmates found your podcast. And I said, oh, shit. I said, well, I'm happy for them, too. <laughs> 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 I said, Shit, I said, well, I, well, I, hey, I that's watch, the way it goes. So you I put it out there. Pill, and, shit, it took me a while to get used to putting it out there like that and people <laughs> seeing that, you know what I mean? But, that, okay, so I was, I'm going to tell you this story a while ago. Do I, can I tell it real quick? Yeah, no, good? Good. I told y'all we went to that uh, party or we went to that hotel and people were there. There's a stage, little exhibit, like a fucking booth set up and everything. And uh, my wife's like, oh, they're being too loud next door. She's like, uh, Go go say something to him. I'm like, I ain't about to go say nothing to these dudes. It's early. I wish I was partying. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, I ain't about to go say nothing to them. And uh, she was like, No, nah, it's like go say something to them, dude. Go say something. Dude. <laughs> and I was like, No, nah, you call them and go say something to them. Then, dude, you ever been in a situation like that? Uh, like, dude, I don't even want to go say nothing because they ain't bothering me. Uh, you really want me to go knock on their door and tell them to shut the fuck up, dude? Uh, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my oldest. She called the front desk and told on them, and she came. Uh, and, oh, and at the fuck. same time, we had just went to dinner earlier that night, and they gave her the wrong bun on her burger, and she was like, somebody tell them I can't tell them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, uh, I, uh, let them know they gave me the wrong bun when they came back, when they Man. came back, because I can't, I can't do it. And she's the oldest. She drives, you know what I mean? Uh But she's a good kid, man. She's a good kid. I'm not like She's probably I, watching this. Hey, I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll take the wrong order. I won't, I won't even complain. I was like, <laughs> you know what? But my girl, she will. I was, she said, you know what? She said, you fucked up. And I said, come on, man. Say, be easy. I said, they're already working fast food. I said, I've worked fast food before. I said, yeah. I said fuck that. Be easy. I said, I said man, I, I said, so I my stepmom, same way. She was like, no, bro. I loved it, though. Uh, I hated it. I look over, see my dad's eyes. And like here we go again, bro. Yeah. We hey we getting dinner twenty five percent off tonight, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Golden Corral seen us coming, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, you know no, what I mean? Uh, they would see you coming, dude. Like, not again. These motherfuckers. Oh, here they go. Hell no, bro. I didn't know y'all posted straight live, dude. No, I, I thought know. I had an uh, executive. Uh, <laughs> hey, I said you thought there was a waiver. <laughs> no, no, I NDA, really, I NDA, really, NDA. Hey, hey, I'm hey, just fucking with y'all. That's gay stuff. I'm Say, just you fucking with y'all. Anything goes. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll tell you all this. If if 
if it gets spread around like that, like Amy's grandma seen it, then we doing all right. Then we yeah. Yeah. We, <laughs> hitting, uh, we, hitting, <laughs> we hitting some views, Amy. So yeah. you Just know tell her to like, <laughs> tell her to like it and share it. Hey, I, no. I really ain't even tripping. No, bro, uh, I'll be I'm worried about it. I'm no, not told y'all, man. Out. This is fun, dude. I'll yeah, be tripping out who sees it. They were like, "Fuck, I seen you." They're like, "I seen you on Facebook." You're alive. Because and you know the people be bouncing in and out, and you don't know who's fucking watching you. Oh, I know. They're like, "I fucking seen you on live." They're like, "I seen that clip of you," and I said. Where hey. idiot, and that make them prove it to me. <laughs> they said it was on YouTube. This is nice though. This is fun. Why is the light on, dog? Nah, because uh, this fucking shit oh, was made in China, man. Like because uh, uh, <laughs> the cheap LED lights make the lines go on the camera. Josh, really like, oh, oh, right. I see what you're saying. So I, I turned it off. Saying, I said, dude, I said, yeah. fuck it. I said, you know, I'll do it with the sign off. But now nah, there's all kinds I like of, it. Dude. There's gonna be so many fucking rooms recording. This is only one you got to record in. There's still, there's still, there's plenty more. Yeah, dude. This is uh, so, by the way, any uh, people listening, comedians, uh, buddies, whatever, this uh, this place they're gonna st- start renting out to do podcasts, do do studio, whatever you need to be done. So, right, or whatever, yeah. tell them about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To I'm my the, people, my, they I'm might the have cast, been listening tonight. I'm the cast studios dot com. So it's it's up now. It's live, but it's half ass done. But that's you'll be able to book on there and everything. Right now, I'm gonna start fifty dollars per episode. So that's the fucking deal of a oh, lifetime because these are all oh, sure yeah. mics. We got the best quality roadcaster. We even got live yes. mics. Like we're gonna go to a comedy show this week and we got live mics. Uh, Soundheiser. Uh, uh, what's it called? It's called Shark Fest. The Sharks Comedy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we're going. We're gonna go over there. We're gonna go do a podcast in the Airbnb. After that, we're gonna go to the show, vlog the show a little bit, wear the mics and stuff. I'll probably talk shit just like here, just like I do on the microphone and heckle them in the crowd. Yeah, dude. Throw yeah, some that dude, water bottles. That dude's hustling. <laughs> that dude hustles some shows, man. He's, he's been doing shows all around there for a minute. Uh, I, I think it's cool. You know, I got what a mean? few buddies that, that have done jumped on with him, you know. It's just some cool shit, you know what I mean? Like, because everybody's trying to fucking make some money at the end of the well, day. He sent out a thing. Uh, he sent out a thing. It was like, hey, if y'all, any comedians in the area want to, you know, hit me up, I'm doing these shows type of thing. But. I've been switching jobs, doing all this. So I never hit him up, but I, uh, I ought to hit him up and see what's going on down there. Yeah, uh, it's just hard to make it down there sometimes, dude. Especially they've been doing them on like weeknights some nights, yeah. dude. Cause it, right now it's uh, mm-hmm. Friday. It's Friday. See, that's a nice, nice yeah. ish night. Uh, yeah, better. It's than not the, Saturday, but, but I can deal Friday. I got. Yeah, uh, I like Friday. I, I get a lot of Fridays that are bullshit, dude. But sometimes we go to those shows and you're out in the middle of nowhere, and it's like, man, uh, why not drive? Two hours of here to Longview uh, for this little bar, dude. Uh, or three hours, four hours, whatever it was to Longview. Places like that, right? Yeah. The only reason, like I said, is Dallas. I'm like, fuck it. There's fucking so many people. There's bound to be somebody. There's got to be. I'll probably find my wife. And if not, then I'll just act the ass. I'll just be like, man, y'all bring me all the modillos y'all can, man. I said, I, I'm going to heckle the guy in the crowd. I'm I said, like, we're going to get a viral video. <laughs> dude, hell yeah. That's fucked up. Hey, they're gonna be like, "Fuck!" I never want these guys uh, to come back again. 